Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, and you know uh, that I always want to be on the top of everything, the best of everything, uh, but I'm on the bottom of this list. The dead last, believe me, of all the health gurus out there, I gotta be honest, I'm at the bottom. So, the bottom of the list that I'm on is caring about um, what people eat. And the reason I wanted to say that is because I'm all the time, I'm people, I start telling people, you know what, you, you really want to move to a raw food diet um, and uh, you want to eat these kind of food, you don't want to eat any you know, animal protein, you want to eat vegan, you know, meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. And right away I'm accused of, I want to control everyone's diet. Okay, let's be clear about one thing. Uh, when somebody smokes, uh, we all smoke. I don't care what you're smoking, a cigarette, um, a, a cigar, a pipe, a joint, I don't know. When somebody smokes, we all smoke. But when you eat a burger, okay, when you eat a steak, when you eat fries, when you eat a Twinkie, you're eating it. You're not pushing it down my throat. And same is true when I eat a salad or any of the foods or spirulina and chlorella or any of the things I always tell you to eat if you want to be healthy. I'm not forcing them on you, and yet I'm always here constantly, constantly. You want to control everyone's diet. You're, you're a food Nazi. I don't care what you eat. I, I got better things to do with my time. You need to take control of your own diet. Now, the reason I wanted to say I'm at the bottom of this list is because there's so many other health professionals, doctors, medical doctors, health gurus, raw food gurus, all this kind of stuff. And there's just a tons of them out there that are trying to tell people what to do and how to eat. And if I've learned anything after 25 years in this business, and that is you cannot tell people what to eat. You can't control their diet. You can try, it ain't gonna work. Now, believe me, they've got, they're gonna wanna eat what they wanna eat, and, uh, and that's it. So I'm at the bottom of the list. I don't care what you eat. This is why I'm against, um, you know, banning um, unhealthy foods. This is right in New York City. They ban trans fats. They trans sugar, the big tall drinks, you know, 32 ounce uh, big gulps or whatever they're called. You know, uh, they did it in Philadelphia. They got a sugar tax. Totally backfired. You know, it, wouldn't it be great if we could just ban all unhealthy foods or just ban fast food? It doesn't work. I mean, you're going to create some kind of a black market somewhere. People just need to be educated they get need to understand what belongs in their body and what doesn't and if people just want to go ahead and keep eating their foods uh, these unhealthy foods that's their decision um, people got to make their own decisions you got to decide what you're going to put into your body what you're not going to put into your body and if you can't figure it out for yourself I don't know what to tell you but banning it big mistake when you take control of your own diet you become the master of your own destiny as far as whether or not you're going to die of a disease or not now, a lot of people will tell me all the time, he's, he's Dr. Bob, Bob McCauley thinks he's going to live forever. No, I'm not going to live forever. What I know, and I've said this to you many times, what I know is that I am not going to die of a disease. Period. End of story. I'm going to die in an accident or I'm going to be murdered. It's one or the other. You know, I'm not going to live forever. God's going to take me when he's ready, and that's the end of it. But a disease, cancer, uh, uh, some serious flu, uh, fibromyalgia, any other chronic disease, uh, just die of old age. I love that. That's my favorite. Died of old age. As if you get old and you just die. No. You get old, you keep putting the wrong things in your body, and then eventually the body breaks down because you're not giving it the, the, the materials it needs to rejuvenate itself uh, on a cellular level. That's what it comes down to. And that's what I'm all about. So when I hear people saying, you know, you're trying to control my diet, I could care less. You're trying to tell me I can't eat steak. Well, I'm telling you what's not good for you. I don't care what you eat. It's your business. Take control of your own life and quit bothering me about it. Here I am presenting you with the information. I'm letting you know, here's what you gotta do. And you know, you don't have to be like me. I'm trying to be 100% raw foodist for many, many, many years now, right? I, I try to go every single day eating a 100% raw food diet as much as, as much as possible as I can. But, you know, what you need to do is just start on that path, the same path I'm doing. 
You don't want to give up meat. You don't want to give up uh, your your favorite steak. You don't want to give up chicken. I don't care what it is. Just start eating smaller portions of it and start eating more raw food. Start having a salad or, you know, there's all sorts of raw food recipes out there. It takes effort and a little bit of change of thought, getting out of the mindset that, well, this is the only way I, you know, I know. This is the way I grew up. Well, I grew up on that stuff. I grew up in the 1960s. And I grew up on, you know, kind of a junky diet. Um, you know, first of all, I tell people all the time, my, my bones are made out of Coca-Cola and Oreo cookies. I grew up on garbage, really. You know, hungry, hungry Jack, baked beans with a big bologna, you know, I mean, the stuff I used to eat. And then slowly but surely, I got more healthy through, you know, health-minded through the years. And I started eating healthier around when I was in my early 20s. And then... Uh, you know, I became a vegetarian and then finally I found out about raw food diet. Well, becoming a vegetarian is a step in the right direction. Becoming a raw food is, is like 10 giant leaps. Nothing comes close. So please, don't accuse me of telling you what to eat or being some kind of food Nazi or from swagging my finger. You shouldn't be eating that. It's, it's your life. It's your destiny. You're the one who can control it. And only you. I'm Dr. Bob McCauley. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you like these videos. I love making them. I love telling the world about health. It's what I do. It's really what I know best. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. So watch some of the other videos. Get yourself educated. And don't forget to subscribe.